Hello, everybody. It's Kathleen from Tree Sisters. Welcome to Creative Interviews. Today, we have our beautiful guest, Azul Valerie Baum. And I'm really excited to talk about what we're going to talk about weaving women back into matter today. Um, 2020 is going to be a really big year for Tree Sisters. We're doing um, as much as we can. In the first half of the year, we have two beautiful events uh, that you can take part in. And one will be for International Women's Day, which is on March 8th. It's gonna be an activity, and it's gonna be called Weaving Women Back Into Matter. As much, most of you know this already. And it's gonna be an opportunity to nourish yourself and the women in your community, which is so needed right now. That will flow into Earth Day, of course, April 22nd, which is the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. So um, that's got to mean something. <laughs> it's got to, it's got to be um, a big year because of this, and and it's an invitation for you to sing with the trees on Earth Day. So that's going to be you can create a, a fundraiser and you can invite your whole community to join you and plant a forest have activities, but mainly we're, we're talking about connecting with each other and connecting with the earth. And International Women's Day, just in case some of you don't know about it, is a celebration of women's work, achievements, contributions across the globe. And for 2020, we're inviting you just to join with us in the simple and meaningful creative project of leading women back into what matter. Internationally, Women's um, International Women's Day, our, their theme this year is called Collective Individualism. And we're gonna talk a little bit more with Azul about that. Uh, but it's really basically, you know, bringing us all together as parts of the whole and using our individual actions and conversations and behaviors and mindsets to impact the larger society of our home, of Earth. But again, we'll talk a little bit more with Azul about all of that. <clears throat> so we're actually delighted to bring her expertise here. Um, and you'll be learning to weave under her wonderful tutorage. And she's a visionary who leads people through ritual, ceremony, and art, and works in deep relationship with our natural world. Azul will be supporting Tree Sisters and Grove Tenders, the circles of uh, Tree Sisters that come together all over the world, to create simple plaited, like braided or knotted belts using earth-friendly materials. We're going to be using traditional techniques, and the intention is to weave our wishes and dreams for ourselves, our sisterhood, and nature into these threads to help us remember, remember that we are matter, mother, earth, and to mend what has been torn within us and in our relationship with earth. <laughs> so this is a wonderful invitation and I'm, I'm not gonna, you know, better around anymore. I want to welcome Azul and uh, we wanna hear from you and where did this welcome and let us know like where did this come from and what were you inspired by to bring this to tree sisters mm. thank you kathleen and thank you for um inviting me again uh, i wanted to bring also the forest that is behind me right now i live in a little cabin in the forest in devon in England, I wanted to bring the place. And this is where the vision came the first time. So it was uh, in June 2017. Um, I was walking and I saw this tree with 13 women weaving around it and invited a few friends to activate that vision in Devon. And they all said yes. And it was the most beautiful day very sunny. You might see a photo of it later. And the vision immediately widened to Tree Sisters. It was like, it felt enormous at the time to think, well, 
how is that possible? And here we are. So I want to say also about the power of vision. If you keep talking about it, be so besotted with your visions that you just keep talking about it, keep talking about it. Like, like if we spin, I think visions is like spinning the threads and then the talking about it is like offering the threads and then talking about it and then acting is weaving it. And so we, here we are and it's, it's quite baffling. Um, it's beautiful very touched by soul, I think. That's who she talks through us, I think, through vision. Um, so since then, um, I've been to many countries, well, with many women, what I call womb belts, and weaving women back into matter. And I wanted to talk a little bit more, you mentioned it, but a little bit more about matter. The etymology, which is the roots we talk, we're going to talk about roots as well, and mycelium, and connection, and trees, and weaving. So it's, it is from uh, a German word called mater, say mater. And mater, it takes us to mother. So the invitation of weaving woman back into matter, not only that because we matter, no, not only because we are in the heart of the matter, in our world of the consequences of having been separated from our natural world. And here we are with three sisters and uh, soul land mm, in the most beautiful creative way, longing and praying and making a, a way of mending what has been broken. Mm. So that's a little bit. Yeah, uh, that's a lot of it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> okay. I know. Not much time to waste. Is that? <laughs> right. That's true. That's true. That's really true. Yeah, so, yeah, it's it's just so wonderful to have you here and to be able to talk to you when I went across the across the world today. <clears throat> you in your cold woods and mine in me and my cold city. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and all the sisters that are watching this you know that this is uh, this is a process that it can it can go from a very simple weaving to you know, much more experienced type of weaving so it's something we can grow with as well which is is really exciting and i'm gonna bring up some pictures to show what they look like and we'll keep we'll keep the conversation going mm. Yes, so we will we will start with a, a very simple, there will be two methods that I will show. One is like a breading, you know, like three, three strands. And it's also a way of, you can sing, you can weave intention, prayers, whatever language you use, really. And you can also, each thread could symbolize something, the self, the togetherness, the wider connection. Um, yeah, so I will do a video about this soon. It will be published on the network. Yeah, there'll be three videos coming, right, as well? Yeah, yeah, about the ceremony, if, if your grove and your group and of women want to do it as a ceremony, then I will share with you what what I do with the women that come to me as a, as a possibility of what you might do. And then there is the plait, so the plait of bread, uh, three threads, or there will be a sort of macrame, a little bit more complex with six pairs of threads. And it's gonna be very beautiful shapes, like a beautiful shape. Um, and then we'll see after March, if you want to go even more complex, we can go more complex. And uh, Kathleen's going to show some of the belts that have been done with uh, more threads than that. But we're going to start uh, with three and six. Can you, can you see the screen? Uh, yes. Yeah, so okay. Uh, so yeah, thirteen women rep really replicating the original vision, and it, it stays the same. It's around the tree if we can, and thirteen women, totally linked to the tree, and then linked 
around the hip to those threads. So it's like a web, it's like umbilical cord mm -hmm. and the mycelium, imagine the roots and the mycelium totally also interconnected, interweaving uh, the woman and the tree, the tree with the other trees and the women among themselves. So this is, oh, this was <laughs> a, woman a, a very hot day. And uh, I had a uh, walk in a belt for Claire. And mm -hmm. this is Tiana uh, on my side there, who is the visionary be uh, behind Women Fest. And I had woven a belt for three days to honor this woman. Two visionary women, amazing. And uh, a lot of weaving. And the, her bell, Tiana, this is an idea also you could do, is there were prayers and um, good wishes written on fabric that were rolled, were rolled and inserted into the weaving, or they can be stitched mm -hmm. on, on the weaving. Um, yeah. And it was offered to Claire as a ceremony. It's a lot of tears and talking <laughs> hearts and mm -hmm. what women do, you know, <laughs> when they yeah. on the land. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and such sacred tears. Oh, such sacred tears. The land was very hot. <clears throat> and here's another. Um, that was the was very your first one. Yeah, that was the first one. Around an apple tree, which is uh -huh. like, and these are all, yes, all my sisters from Devon who said, yes, let's try this out. That's a good group for the first uh, one. It's a wonderful group. And uh, yeah, from Devon in June 2000. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this uh, was in Belgium. You see, women, we look very similar, don't we? When we weave a tree, hmm? this tree was magnificent. And it's beautiful. Yeah. And some of them have themes. Um, this one, a lot of women wanted to have children. And oh. there was a lot of prayers. And you see the little pieces of paper, we put our prayers. Yes. Uh, uh, leaning on the tree. Mm -hmm. And then we move, uh, we move from one belt to another, so we can weave to another sister's prayer. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. So you come back to your own. It's that collective individualism that uh, okay. is the theme. And there's the visible uh, weaving and there's the invisible weaving. And they're oh. both very sacred. You know, the invisible weaving of weaving our prayers together and sharing them with each other and asking for support and supporting each other that's the invisible weaving mm. and then we were weaving also with threads mm. and here's some very vibrant ah, yeah. beautiful yeah. just love looking at it <clears throat> that was an apple tree yes and you get closer and closer and closer and closer to the tree so all the women yeah. got closer and closer at the end we were all yeah. Yes. So. As you finish, you work towards the tree. Yes, you do. It's so symbolic. It's so so symbolic. So, and there's a rhythm. It's like a breath. You start mm. quite out. You don't know each other very well, you know. Ooh. And at the end, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you're all one. You guys do. <laughs> I love uh, this one. Um, <laughs> this is in Slovenia. Yeah, I love it with the baby basket and the and sheets. The, yeah. Such a hot day, such a hot day. Yes. And yeah, women working very hard on a sort of permaculture project in Slovenia. Mm -hmm. And this young woman just had a baby, a little girl. Mm -hmm. was among us, and her grand, her mother is also there. So there was three generation of women. Oh, I love that, yeah. Yeah, Thank and you. our main prayer was for the garden to thrive because yeah. they haven't had much water. Mm -hmm. so. Did you check back and see how that, how the garden came along? You know, I didn't. I must. Yeah. I must. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure it did well for a lot of reasons. 
Of course. <clears throat> yes. And she to find the button and she move on. Yeah. It has to go all the way back. Hold on one minute. It has, I have to make it small before I can move on. <clears throat> this one is great because I'll let you tell the story about it because I know there's a, a much deeper, beautiful meaning. But I, I also just want to bring the attention that, um, you know, it can be done indoors. And you can have a plant or something in the middle. And you can, you know, do the same work if you can't be outside for some reason. Yeah. But, but I'll let you tell the, the story of this one. Yeah, this brings, yeah, fills my heart. So yeah, just to talk to, about the plant uh, before I talk about the moon, it's like um, if you can find a living being, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. And even if you create a center point that doesn't and then add, this is what we did, we couldn't find a plant big enough, so we created a very heavy thing uh, in the middle, and then we Place. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good. It but does have to be heavy. Yeah, because if you pull. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so this one was in a refuge, uh, refugee center in a city in Slovenia. And we spent the whole day with refugee women from many, many places, mm. mainly around the Mediterranean. And this woman had never met before, and I had a translator because they spoke um, different Latin, mainly Arabic, and we shared stories without speaking, and through looks, through <laughs> empathy of the body, through weaving, through using our hands, a lot, a lot of healing happened. It's beautiful. The heart speak. And I, I just want to mention that this is called backstrap weaving, and you won't be you won't be teaching it this time through during our program, um, but it is something that we can work towards maybe you know eventually. Um, but you can see those little bars with the the wooden handles, and uh, just so anybody is looking, so that they can tell know that that's. You don't need to know how to do that right now, right away. Oh, yeah, that was another idea. And that was in a place where we had no plants, but we had a beam in the middle. Mm -hmm. So we uh, tied ourselves around the beam. Yeah, that's a great idea. We always have beams, and most houses have some type of support beam. That was in Croatia. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes. Oh. You found some nice photos. I <laughs> did. I, I had a wonderful time looking through oh. them. <laughs> All the prayers. Oh. Yeah. So these women, you see, when they wear them around their hips, they have the memories of all the other women who've sang in them, who've woven into them. Mm. So it seems like sisterhood's got your back. That's the idea. So yeah. Line, yeah. Line. <laughs> it's phys um, physically felt as well as emotionally. Yeah, especially, you know, women in cities, I would recommend that you wear it when you go outside in cities and yeah. feel this presence of sisterhood around you. It's very, very yeah. helpful. Yeah, and we need that these days just to, you know, have that sisterhood and know that it's there for us. We're in these chaotic times right now. It's such a great support to have the sisterhood that we have in Tree Sisters along with, you know, reforesting the trees. It's so important to have this sisterhood. And like you said, knowing that, we have someone who's got our back and and supporting us in what we're doing. Yes, I, can't, I, I can't wait to get my belt made. <laughs> as well as our dear mother who always has our back. Of course. Does. Our beautiful mama. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a belt I made specifically for a woman who longed to have a baby and Mm. And well, she's still not pregnant, but things are shifting. Things are shifting. 
yeah for her in her body so that's oh, that's beautiful yes some things have to move before yes, yes, and, yes. and this one shows that you know a couple of different weaving techniques but this one right here if i i think you can see me pointing at it it's a yellow in the middle and it's a braid it's a it's a plait and it it's a, a very simple way and and that's going to be part of what you're one of the videos that you're going to be working with but we'll show that you can do a plaid or a braid you can start to a simple weaving you can do add a few extra strands like this thicker plaid yeah. over here yeah and then you can do also many things yeah i'd love to talk about the gold thread Yes, please. Yeah, you just showed me this. So, there's a, a, a story you can look it up for the longer version, but I'll do it short version. It was inspired by the Kogi people in Colombia. It's a, a short film called Aluna. And what they see is the invisible threads that connects everything that is sacred. Mm -hmm. And they were heartbroken by how everything is being torn apart and there's a whole film made of that and then they decided to come to England to a factory and get thousands and thousands of kilometers of the finest gold thread not real gold mm -hmm. uh, we don't want that but you know the gold golden color thread yeah. and they went back to Colombia and walked from all these sacred sites with the gold thread to mend what had been broken so mm -hmm. what I wanted to invite all women, because we're all over the earth, yeah. is that in whatever we do to add a gold thread. So mm -hmm. among ourselves, we'll have one thread in common that connects us all. Oh, um, yeah. So connects, and as we said at the beginning, mm -hmm. mends what's been maybe broken inside, mend between sisterhood and mend our relationship to our dear earth. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah. That's this so is uh, <clears throat> this is amazing. There's so many levels to this to this work that we're going to be doing together. I want everyone to remember the gold thread. I love how you go small. <laughs> yeah, it is very good. <laughs> and this is what you know. I was talking about earlier, right? The the back strap weaving tools, and we're not going to learn this t the type this time around. But it just shows you what's possible. Yeah, this is uh, for the womb belts that for Azul creates. Yeah. And it's got twenty nine thread, which I find very symbolic. Okay. Uh, so we, you know, let's see, but we thought let's start simple and then go um, and follow the thread, literally. Of follow the thread, the yeah. The mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's so, it's such a beautiful conversation. This one I really, I really love too with the acorn and yeah. it looks like the wings almost. Um, the well, an it's antlers. The of the uh, oak tree yeah so actually there is silver and gold i used to be a silversmith and goldsmith oh i didn't know now that. i return everything to rivers and mountains but um, oh. at the time i did a yeah i did this you know, i knew i knew you returned everything to the I earth <laughs> but i didn't know you were a goldsmith <laughs> my son's totally baffled he's baffled <laughs> 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 I bet, I bet, <laughs> most of the world would be. <laughs> so that's another thing is you might create something in honor to another being altogether. Yeah. That's your sensitivity of time. You know, at the moment, for example, we're losing all of the ash trees. Yeah. We're about to lose 95% of 90 million trees. Yeah. And we are about to sing for 24 hours for the ash trees. And we're going to be weaving around these ash trees all our prayers. So that's another idea. You can, yeah, you can do something for a particular tree you love. Or, for the ash, yeah. And when are you going to be doing the ash work? Second of February, because it's in bulk, which is when the sap rises. Yeah. Celtic in the Celtic uh, calendar. Mm -hmm. and we're going to do um, twenty-four hours singing um, all over the world. We're all invited. Born yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely going to. I have an ash in my backyard, and oh. uh, 
oh. in bulk is very precious to me with yeah. you know St. Bridget and the Celtic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, we had the ash borer here for a long time and it, it ruined most of our ashes. And, oh. But uh, it's it's it stopped, you know, it was a more of a, a disease like, uh, yeah. through, you know, the, the bug, the boar. Um, but people made beautiful furniture out of them that was really at least keeping them alive and not just, you know, yeah, yeah in a way, keeping them alive in a way. Beautiful. To make it small again. <laughs> <laughs> and this oh, is, I, I, you know, I wanted to show this is a way, you know, the, to wear them um, proudly. I would say this is wearing it proudly. Um, but there, this is also a womb belt, right? Which is to have a baby. Well, she's pregnant. Uh, and I was in this community, uh, stayed a few weeks there, so I would collect things from everyone. These are all rolls of wishes, good wishes for the new mama and her baby to come. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I wove them in and gave it to her before I left. We celebrated, we did our little honor, you know, blessing of the baby, and the baby's very well, That I know that. Nah, it's all good. You checked it. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. I love that idea, you know, for all all babies to have these these wishes woven into something that they that the mama wears or you know, or that can be kept in the baby's room like this belt. Yeah. It's beautiful. And then it can be handed down also. Absolutely. And you know, for example, this woman, which I won't mention her name, but this woman also had a a bit of healing she wanted to do before the baby arrived. Oh, yeah. You know, things that happened in her womb. And so that was also mm. part of it. We really mm. held her through it and yeah, just sent her a lot of blessing. And yeah. There's so it? much we can go into with all of this, you know, yeah. as far as the womb. And you yeah. also work with uh, Red, Red um, One Billion Rising, like I do, right? Yeah, that's another dream, which would be to have three sisters, one billion rising, and leading women back into matter, and have one billion women wearing wind belts. Yeah, and wrap it around the world. and. Oh, shall I talk about that? Yes, yes please. Yes. Okay, is, this is it. This is it. <laughs> This is my mathematic head on. Um, so our beautiful earth, her hips are 40,000 kilometers. Uh, sorry if you don't know kilometers. But I don't I'll know. find a translation. <laughs> 40,000 kilometers. And if each woman do a four meter belt that you can wrap around a few times, we only need 10 million women, which is not a lot, 10 million women to create a belt, a collected belt for our beautiful earth. Mm. I love the image and I've sent a Kathleen a little sketch of what of the earth <laughs> belt like these that you've seen all around her. You know yeah. and on a yeah. deeper more maybe serious side is that it touches and heals, you know, the burnt places and the flooded places and yeah. the desolate places and the struggling places um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it might touch all the refugees that are homeless. It's like there is such power in the imagination. Absolutely. And, and I know as creative women, the, the power of creativity and, you know, artists have always shown the invisible to the world. Yeah. And a lot of artists have come out in the most difficult times because we need to speak in this way. Yeah. So, and here we are now, and we're ready. And here we are, and we're doing it. Yes, we're doing ten, it. Ten million, to... women, that's what, 10 million women planting a tree and weaving four meters. Yeah, that's what I was, I was envisioning, actually, was the yeah. tree and, you know, each, each post that is tied around, around, the, around the earth is a tree, and it's holding the belt. The trees are holding the belt to oh, the earth yeah how beautiful we're doing eight million trees a year now and with tree sisters amazing so yeah so it's all within our 
our, you know, our capacity and our potential. And if we just let our imaginations and our hearts open all the way, there's just, there's nothing that's really impossible. As far as I, oh, this one, can, this one, the bottom one, Kathleen. It's yeah. Strong, she's a different tree. Yeah. Sort of like the uh, Celtic trees. So that, mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's another idea for, for sisters. Yeah, I love that I idea. That. No, you know, even on the plait, you can in, you can stitch. Sure, sure. And just going back to uh, One Billion Rising for a moment, because mm -hmm. I, I'm very deeply connected to that organization as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's, you know, the damage that has been done to women as far as, you know, physically and emotionally and all of that as well. It's so, it's so in line with the, the same you know, damage that has been done to the earth, you know, the disrespect of her body and our bodies. And so bringing this weaving together and weaving us back into matter, just, it, it, it is, it, it's already there. It's just that you're recognizing it and you're helping us to connect to it. And I think that, um, you know, this whole vision of the belt going around the world for that healing, I'm just so grateful for that, and I hope that uh, a lot of women can open into that healing and just allow themselves to be embraced by it. And I'm going to go zoop again. <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> it's amazing what we can do, right? Oh, this one's beautiful with the big branch in there, the big twig. Yeah. So many ideas of what we can do and so many ideas. You and know. From a piece if you choose to do the a bit more complex one, then that would be really possible. These are beads. They were handmade beads. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And those are things we can, you know, can progress to yeah. if you know, but maybe some people are able to do that right now if they've been doing yeah. a lot of weaving. Um, this is another one, just you know, just lovely pictures. I think that's the most I wanted to show all the different styles and colors and and you know, being outside connected, it just looks so gorgeous. And here you are. <clears throat> I love that. It's in, one. I'm yeah. still working on it. Seven meters, this one. Oh, and it's got 130 different. Uh, the question was, what is your wildest longing for the earth? Oh gosh. And people would write, and I add. Oh, uh, that's a beautiful question. <clears throat> I'd love yeah. to read them all. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So. Uh, yeah, day it will be given away to uh, some cave. Love to give it to. Cave. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, here, here you are indoors working on. It's the same one or no? Yes, yeah, the same one, but yeah. it was a storm, so I came in. Came in. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> uh, people came to me all day, and oh, so many hugs and stories. Oh gosh. Yeah, what is your greatest, what is your greatest longing, Azul, for the earth? Oh, that uh, she is fiercely loved. Mm. Tenderly and fiercely loved by all that. We have the courage to keep loving. Yeah. It's going to take a lot of courage to keep loving. It is, and it is. I don't see anything more important right now. No, there's there's not anything more important right now because it, it it's connected to each one of us and each of our families and the survival of, of all of us. Um, so yeah, I just I my greatest longing is that everyone awakens to the truth and allows themselves to get out of the little bubbles that uh, are so easy for us to fall into to believe that everything is just business as usual when it's when, and I say that for myself as, as well um the dog agrees I know hey Patrick <laughs> he, uh, he's almost ready for his walk so I guess that that's a kind of a good time I want to so I want to say that oh go ahead we want to talk about this one yeah briefly it's at the end when everything is woven we we do the final ceremony, 
just briefly is to <laughs> let the earth touch them all and bless them mm. and we bless them around the fire and to the wind and spray them with water yeah they are totally blessed by our earth before we wear them yeah oh that's just beautiful and there will be a video about that as well that will be the third video about ceremony which is such a, a beautiful part of it it's where we set our intentions and and really bring our whole system into alignment with what we're doing i wanted to uh, mention that when when all of you out there uh, do your 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 weaving of whatever type it is it's going to be gorgeous it's going to be stunning because it comes from your heart and it, it is set with these intentions and i don't want any of you to be shy about showing it mine will probably be a braid it will be a braid for sure but that's not the point it's it's you know that you're coming together maybe you're only coming together with one person or maybe it's just you and that's okay too or your big circle your community it could grow into that eventually but I want you to take pictures and don't be shy and just share them with us because I'm going to put together and make a, a little video which is going to create this impact of all the you know all of these weavings around the world like Azul was dreaming is dreaming and holding that dream it's coming starting to come true and we'll be able to show what country each one of these are and and put them together into a video and be inspired like if you have something that you want to write like a poem or a song or a story or whatever azul and i both welcome that very much you know there's no end or should be no end or limit to your expression and there's no right way or wrong way to express this is a lot of time right now these in these days and times you don't have to be uh, afraid of feeling what you're feeling and um I think, you know, Azul and I both agree, we talked a little bit before this, but about the heartbreak that is connecting us and just knowing that we are connected and that we're supporting each other throughout all of this. So there'll be a little drop box for you to add, you know, to upload your pictures and your photographs or your videos, whatever you have into it, and then we'll put this together. Um, but yeah, songs, poems, you know, just, <sighs> Just let it all come out and just know that it's all part of what is important. Every inch, every little, little half an inch of a weaving is going to be so powerful. And I thank you so much, Azul, for this. Um, you know, you've made my day and you've actually made my last few days because I've been gathering all the pictures and putting them all together. Um, that is just so beautiful, you know, in every way, uh, creatively, heart-wise, intentional, you know, bringing us together with the earth and with each other. There really isn't anything, you know, more powerful right now to, to heal and to mend what needs to be mended. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kathleen, and to you all women, I look forward to meeting you and weaving with you and listening to your stories and anything I can do with Kathleen to support you uh, in weaving ourselves back into matter. <laughs> all on us, we're here. Yeah. And I look forward to yeah, carrying on this journey until the 8th of March. Yeah, we'll be in and out quite a bit, Zoom, right? You'll have the videos and then we'll have questions, we'll have live question and answers. There's a, an entire schedule, I believe, and Karen put in. So you'll be able to follow along with us, but it's a journey, just like, uh, just like you said. So thank you all. Thank you yeah. all. Bye-bye. So <laughs> uh, Bye-bye.